What's up guys, Juice Messy here and welcome to a brand new video. Welcome to a bit of a special squad today. It's a stacked team built around the once to watch or inform now version of Gabriel Jesus, the Brazilian wonder kid from Manchester City. He's not actually in packs right now as an informed card. He won't be informed until Friday. He's still a once to watch card, but he has the same stats and all that good stuff, guys. But before we get started, as always, if you show support by leaving a like rating, that'd be absolutely awesome. If you're new to my channel, click the subscribe button for Delhi FIFA content and the comments below. What are your thoughts on Gabriel Jesus in real life? Do you think he's a little bit overrated maybe because of a couple of good games or do you think he's the real deal? So let me know down below in the comments. And finally, if you missed my previous video, it was down below in the description box. So the formation we're going with today is going to be the 4-3-2-1. It has been a long, long time since I last used that. Initially, it was my go-to formation, but now it's the 4-1-2-1-2 variant number two. But let's start with the defense and the goalkeeper. And in there, we've got an 83 rated PSG goalkeeper, Kevin Trapp, and he cost me 2.6K. His price is slightly inflated right now due to the wants to watch SBC, but a great goalkeeper in game. I was very much surprised. 83 diving, 85 reflexes, 80 positioning and six foot two and definitely got the business and the job done very, very well. The right back is another German player and that is Daniel Brzezinski who plays for Mainz in the Bundesliga. He's five foot 10, played 10 games with him, zero goals, one assist, pretty much discard value right now. 86 pace, 73 dribbling, 70 defending and 70 physical. I really want a Bundesliga side to sign a very good rated right back because right now, Philip Blum, I said it the other day, he's 88 rated, but in game, he is awful. Well, I say awful, but he's really not cut out for the likes of the weekend league and also division matches, in my opinion, at least. So Brzezinski does a job for now. He's Diekmeier instead for the silver option, who probably for me, I actually prefer him over Brzezinski, but I want a gold player in there. Then we go to right center back, and that is going to be Jerome Berteng, 90 rated, 50 games played from now, Two goals, zero assists, four yellow cards. Be six foot four, 79 pace, 90 defending, and 85 physical. The thing I really like about him, I may have said it before, but 72 passing the sense back. Very good at distributing the ball from the back and getting the attack started from deep. His part then is going to an informed version of Marquinhos. I packed him when he first came out, actually. I've only played six games with him, didn't really do anything wrong, but I can't really form on that front, but I'd probably still use Thiago Silva over him. I was like, you know what, I have him in my club, might as well try him. But he also has 75 dribbling, 73 passing, 75 pace is really, really good, 87 defending and 81 physical. The left back is a SBC version of Kazawa from PSG, a monster of a player. I've played with 64 games with now two goals, two assists, but in foot champions, he's actually one of my go-to substitutes as a left centre midfielder. I think he featured in my last squad, in fact, but he's six foot tall, 81 pace, 81 dribbling, 80 passing, 84 defending, and 80 physical. If you look at it like that, he has got very much good stats for a centre midfielder, hence why I bring him on there. Now we've got onto three midfielders, and it's a pretty stacked midfield. Unfortunately, I'm still yet to pack the ones to watch Kante. I think I have a day and a half to get, but I've used this normal card so, so much. 366 games played, 14 goals and 35 assists, but he's not there to get goals and assists. I say it every single time. He's just a great player. Definitely elite tier. He's the reason why everyone uses him on foot champions because he's so, so damn good. 83 physical, 80 defending and pace, 74 passing, 77 dribbling. Uh, the ones to watch card, it has got massive upgrades and his upgrade card could probably come out potentially even on Friday. But hopefully the next squad I have him in does include his ones to watch item as a first owner as the last 36 ones to watch packs have all been just to get Kante himself. So hopefully again, it happens very, very soon. The right centre midfielder is a wants to watch card and that is going to be Renato Sanchez. And I think right now he's like 40,000 coins, very, very cheap. In real life, hasn't really hit off so much at uh, Bayern as of yet. He's not really getting played and when he does, he's not been outstanding. But let's be real, he's only 19 years old still, so he's got a lot of time and they've got time on his side. But in game, one of the best players on there. There's a reason you see pro players like on streams and stuff, they bring him on. He seems to be one of the best go-to substitutes on FIFA 17, despite it being 78 rated, but his stats are just made for FIFA. 82 pace, 84 physical, high, high work rates, can pretty much knock anyone off the ball in the game. And I will definitely get a lot of use out of this card now, I have his ones to watch item. Then we got to the final midfielder. It's a very, very expensive one. If you don't have the coins for it, there are multiple different other alternatives, basically. And that is going to be the ones to watch, Paul Pogba, first owner. I've already played 51 games with him due to the weekend league, 16 goals and 15 assists from centre midfield. That is not a bad return in the slightest. He's six foot three, five star skill moves, four star weak foot, one more informed card, and will officially be an all 80 plus club player. Now, personally, I have not used the likes of Patrick Vieira or Rude Hullet, so I can't really compare him to legend cards, but our regular ones I've used so far, definitely the best centre midfielder on the game, 
Kante is fantastic, but Pogba is a whole new level because he's so, so strong, so quick, a ridiculous long shot, and the five-star skills. But like I mentioned, if you can't afford him, there are quite a few French midfielders in the Prem, or alternatively, I think you can have any Chelsea midfielder there instead. Now we've gone to the front three of dreams. It's so, so colourful. Let's start with the right forward. That is the SBC uh, from Halloween it was, and that is Douglas Costa as a right forward. And I love using this card, not only because he has five-star skill moves, but he is so, so good on the ball. The 87 dribbling, 93 pace combo is great. 80 shot, 81 passing. And his finesse shot on the left foot, if you cut inside, is so, so good. I've played 21 games with him now, getting 13 goals and 14 assists. So a fantastic return for a right forward. The left forward is a player I think I've used the most so far on FIFA 17. Um, wait, 335, Kante's on 366. Okay, the second highest player in my club right now, player of the month, Eden Hazard. He's got 366 goal contributions in 335 games. And uh, as a player has played left forward and now a lot of striker, he's my striker, in fact, my right striker in the weekend league. He's played so much for champions and one of my favorite players I've had so far. In fact, he does have a new form card in the team of the week, but to be honest, I'm very much happy about this card on my team anyway, and his current one is at 1.4 mil or whatever. Then we've got to the main man himself, the ace 2 rated now, Gabriel Jesus. It took me 14 wins to once to watch packs to get him, but I finally got him. High, high work rates, 4 star weak foot, 5 star skill moves, and his informed stats now 88 pace, 81 shot, 87 dribbling, 74 passing, and 71 physical. And his goal contribution was absolutely mad, by the way. 5 games, 12 goals, and 3 assists. For an 82 rated player. And look at his price right now on the Xbox, he's 350k or so, or just around that mark. And to be fair, he's come down a lot. A couple of hours ago, he was good for 580. So let's go into a gameplay. I'll talk more about Gabriel Jesus in more depth now, including in game stats and how he plays in game. So into a gameplay now, first I want to talk about Gabriel Jesus' in game stats. He's got some incredible ones, such as 99 stamina. I'm not sure if that's a glitch or not, but 99 stamina on a pretty much a base card is incredible, especially for foot champions. It means he won't ever get tired and will be very good against very, very tired defenses. 92 agility is great as well. His finish is 85 by default, and I'll put them on your screen at some point throughout the video, maybe even already during the, the actual scoreboard part, but overall very impressed for an 82 rated player. His trait has got a finesse shot trait, which I noticed one of the screams I scored of him, and a flare trait so he can do Rabona crosses and technical dribbler, and his rating in game with a basic chemistry start on him it's crazy, crazy stuff. So the basic chemistry style then is an 85 rated striker just with a basic chem style, which is crazy for a player just 82 rated by default. He's an 88 left forward to basic, an 88 center forward, an 87 cam, and even an 86 left midfielder. So this guy can pretty much play anywhere along the front line, even as a left mid or potentially as a right midfielder. He's so good in front of goal. He surprised me massively. And with basic chemistry style, apparently has 90 finishing. Not sure with Hunter, probably close to 95. If you believe that much for boost, obviously you might not believe it. And may think it's a bit of a placebo, but still very good in front of goal. And his shot power seemed like so, so good as well. He's agile, very, very quick. Um, I feel like he had the speed dribbler trait. He does have technical dribbler, but I don't think that's the same thing. Um, his link up play was also awesome. The one twos of Ian Hazard and Costa to then make the little run off and then get a bit of space. He's doing that every single time. And five star skill moves is a bonus personally. I don't use skill moves, but that's just me. Um, I play to win kind of thing. I swear it when I can. Uh, see, most of the goals will be a lot worse than some you may, you guys may score, but that's just how I play. I'm, I'm very much like always in foot champions mode. I should probably try and like turn that off a little bit, uh, but I, I just can't for some reason. Now we go on to the rest of the team. So I played 5-1-5, so obviously he was unbeaten. The, the midfield trio of Pogba, Kante, and Rato Sanchez it's just next level good. It has absolutely everything. It has the five star skill moves. The stamina is so good. The strength is it's just the perfect trio of midfielders, in my opinion, outside the Legends category. Then we've got three five star skills and Gabriel Jesus, of course, uh, Douglas Costa and Paul Pogba. And I was very much impressed by, uh, what's his name? Trapping goal? Yeah, Trap from PSG. He was saving so many shots. I was like, you know what? That's a guaranteed goal. But he's just getting a fingertip on him and somehow putting them wide. And that's one thing that I really, really liked in having Kevin Trap. I think now we may be com coming up to a goal that I really enjoyed. Look at this right here from Paul Pogba. It, it, that's just broken. I know he tackles him there, but the right analog stick, no one could touch him. That's his strength, his pace all come into play in just one move. Um, now, everything else, the in-game stats, like I said before, he has got some incredible ones. Uh, 85 finishing on an ace two rated player by default. I'd say that's pretty damn impressive. And now the goal on the screen right now is going to be the finesse shot of dreams with Gabriel Jesus. Takes a touch and out of nowhere, 
curls that into top bins, guys. So that is going to be the end of the video. If you enjoyed it, show support by leaving a like rating. That'd be absolutely awesome. If you're new to my channel, click the subscribe button for daily FIFA content and the comments below. I mean, your thoughts on Gabriel Jesus in real life? Is he overhyped or is he the real deal? So thank you for watching this video and I'll see you next time.